Ed Miliband chose safe territory to launch his clean power plan, a factory in Hull that makes blades for wind turbines. But he knows the profusion of pylons, substations and wind farms his plan requires are not so popular everywhere. I think it's better to be straight with people about the choices we face as a country. We face a choice of carrying on as we are and having that terrible exposure and the cost of living crisis is still haunting so many people in our country or to build the clean energy infrastructure that we need. If that's politically risky, it's nothing compared to the practical challenge of delivering the plan. It calls for the current 15 gigawatts of offshore wind capacity that's taken 20 years to develop to triple to around 50 gigawatts by 2030. Onshore wind generation was double to 29 gigawatts and solar power should also triple in scale to nearly 50 gigawatts. Then to move all that new electricity around the country will require an overhaul of the national grid on a scale that's not been seen since it was first planned out in the 1950s. Then there's the challenge of getting all that new electricity to customers who need it. Projects like this one, this single turbine, was the only one to get a grid connection in England in 2023. There's a massive queue, more than a 1,000 projects, some being told it's more than a decade before they can get a connection to the grid. The project's developer has three more ready to go, but no way of plugging them in. Getting new turbines onto the grid is impossible until 2036, we've been told. 2036? Yeah. A major part of the new plan is urgently prioritising this grid queue, but local opposition to unsightly net zero infrastructure won't go away. It's why the government favours community-owned projects like this one, where profits go to local people. Community energy is at the heart of the energy system. This is something that brings long-term benefit well after the turbine's been put there. That could be replicated a hundred times over across the, across, you know, hundreds of times over across the country. The clean power plan will be a major test of Keir Starmer's promise to get Britain building again, but also of his political stomach for when it hits the inevitable obstacles and opposition along the way. Tom Clark, Sky News, Bristol.